a huge step up in every single aspect. You know, you win one of these, you can almost guarantee yourself a spot if you just win two Wednesday weeklies. That's how big the point differential is. That's just how valuable this tournament is. We'll see what Pineda can get doing or can get going against Q. I'm interested to see what he can do with the lucky Chloe. Did get a couple changes here in season two, so it's a little bit more of a threat, but just gonna start things off with the orbital, keep things slow. Neither player wanting to commit to too much in tight. Back turn, Cali, not gonna be fully committed to, just a back turn, a little lunge. Oh, but he gets him with a hop. Good carry, has him on the wall, gonna take the break. And just opts for, I guess, damage with how far he sent him. Oh man, Pineda getting roughed up right now. It's supposed to be Harang that gets stuff going like this, where he just gets to do whatever he wants. Where's the string go next? Oh, good break. Pineda gonna get poked low, but he gets the launcher. That is going to be able to finish it. Here comes the Rage Art and kicked right to the stomach. Away we go. Round one over to, Pite over to Pineda. Starting here on the lower rung. What are we going to get from him? Ooh, nice kick again. Alex finding these where he can. Pineda trying to get some cuts. Going to get locked into a, some plus frames from Q. Q has him on the wall. Good step out. Get some damage. Get a little bit of push off. And put him against the wall yourself. That angle was terrific for him. Pineda taking it slow. Doesn't want to commit to too much. Uh-oh, say goodnight anyway, scooped right up off the ground. Q gonna steal round two away with that nice little sequence. Man, just stepping in with a big foot. Only cut for like 20 damage, but it's gonna cut into more as Q, not having his guard up, gonna get pinned along the wall. Pineda gets pushed off, cuts low. Q, trying to get through. Good low punch, gets the pick up afterwards. Pineda gonna get stuck here at the wall for a little bit longer, doesn't go too far on that string. Q, just punishing naturally. Takes the block string earlier. Both players in rage. Next person to get a little bit of a read. Both players backing the hell off, but there goes the blue stuff from Q, and there goes the rest of the life bar. Pineda trying to weave around, taking a much more agile stance early on. Q though, just swinging. Good down forward once to get himself a little bit of something going. Gonna get some more. Up against the wall we go. Can Q finish? Not off that string, but he'll get it anyways. Fight. Caught him ducking. Fight. Q trying to stretch himself around, but gonna get stuck in a little bit of a mix from Pineda. You don't know where he's going, but you found the block there. Good hop kick, gonna get some damage on his side. Counter hit for both players, able to reset this all that they want. The back turn is big, but he commits to the roll. Pineda biting, good throw break. Pineda, it's gonna get punished for a little bit, not too much. Good cancel, oh no. Woo, sketchy. Life bar is virtually the same. Q with a tiny bit more, he's gonna get the back hits. Oh no, you hear the lucky low, low mid. God, do I hate this character. <laughs> Pineda gonna take another crack on the harangue. You didn't expect him to switch to anything else. Q looking to do more of the same. A little dancer step, not doing too much for him. Has him stuck against the wall, not gonna break. Nice solid one for Pineda to just work him on. Didn't cut for the low. I like the patience, but he gets popped with that little hop kick. Oh, got him. Good damage. Pineda taking the first round again. Q trying to work some soft damage. Nice little sequence was all he was going for. Pineda getting a good sequence of his own. Oh my goodness. Q, you got a block. You got a block, buddy. Damage after damage after damage, hit after hit. Q 
Q could not find the answer. Pineda just kept mixing them up. All right, hello. I just came in. Good. Yeah. Need someone with a little more technical experience. All right. From what I saw, Alex did a rattle in the hot kick to throw JP Nada off. But right now, that's, that is not the case. I think JP Nada adapted and the counter hit. Jesus. Alex just under pressure tried to press something and it low. didn't work. Oh, wow. The low block the entire time and Pineda not poking anywhere. But oh. three straight rounds. What do you want in a comeback? No, sit on her. Yeah. Let that rock. <laughs> and straight to character select. Is, is Chloe not his girl? Uh, Alex has a bunch of characters. He doesn't really have a main. Like, if I had to pick one, it would be Gigas or Claudia, but he just counterpicks everyone. He's right. that kind of player. Uh, let's see. Oh, are we going to see Gigas? All right. Noctis. Oh, maybe Noctis. He has a bunch of characters. We don't know who he's going to pick. Okay. Oh, Yoshi. I saw Yoshi. Because he plays a lot of characters. Looks like he's going to land on the Claudia. Maybe. Oh, Noctis? God, oh, he's baiting us. He's baiting one. us. Pick one. Ah, uh, Noctis, here we go. Cool. He's trying to, because Noctis is mainly a keep, really good at keep out. Yeah. So, like, maybe he's trying to keep uh, Horang out because he has that infamous uh, down back 1 plus 2, which pushes back a lot. Yep. Hard to punish, and yep. it launches for, like, 70 plus damage. Ah, uh, yeah, and you can get a, a, re, a restand kind of thing if they don't roll, if they don't tech roll immediately. Yeah. And you can read the tech roll with down back 2. Yeah. Sucks to suck. Yeah, but the problem for Alex is, like, <laughs> once Horan gets in, Noctis doesn't really have a get off me tool. No, so that's he the problem. doesn't. But yeah. what he does have is a nice get in you tool yeah. inside of that teleporting sword. Yeah. So let's if, see how. Yeah. yeah. If Pineda pushes buttons too far away, pushes something linear, mm -hmm. Q is in and yeah. he can stay in. Yeah. JP Pineda is really good at that. All right. Oh, just as saying going in, he's going in, going down. Doesn't really give him a chance. Oh, oh wow. I can't believe he's able to stuff that out. That's a bold call to go for that. Yeah, you could get launched. Oh, counter it. Right. Went for the mid. Oh. Q is ducking every single time he's in Oki. If Pineda starts going for just hop kicks or some sort of launcher from mid, yeah. Q's going to get roughed up something fierce. Yeah, all right. Going in on, okay, mix up. Another one. Wow, oh, he's Hell trying three. to counter. It's not coming out in time. Yep. You can't counter like that. Uh, Noctis counter, can't counter lows. Well, right. It's going to get right, something out, yeah. All right. It, yes, you're right. In that case, it was the low, but yeah. pulled it out like three times oh. in a row, and it's not going to matter. We're we'll looking at six straight <laughs> rounds. We're at five right now. It's too fast for us to commentate. But it is going to run him over. Oh, here oh, we go. The boom boy. I talked about. Oh, he missed the combo. Oh, no. My goodness. Dropped right. like you were as a child with oh, those strings. Oh, no. Nah. I, can't, I can't see this. This is too brutal. Like, JP Nana just going oh, in with goodness. those down 3 4, down 3 4. My Another one. We're no longer playing Tekken. This is Forza. He just got run <laughs> the hell over. Wow. I wouldn't say it was like, it, that was normal Tekken because Harang is with those kind of strings, with that kind of low, like high, like yeah. game. He's just really good at pressuring and nothing else. And, and, that's, and that's fair. I agree yeah. with you entirely. Yeah. Here's my counterpoint. Mm -hmm. 